Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Minecraft Total Insanity. When we last left off... Um... Shit, I don't remember. I guess, technically, it'll be the end of the Kraken since I lost my other video, so I'm just gonna show off a little bit what I showed off last time. As you guys can tell, I've got my Superman armor. I built a farm. Built some stables. That's about it for that. Installed a new mod, and it's the um, Better Furnaces mod. So, I've got some... I didn't turn those into extreme furnaces. Wow, I guess I gotta replace this. There is a bug in the mod, you guys will notice I have a lot of extreme furnaces. No, I didn't cheat. The mod derped out whatever, like, furnace AI I was able to make one extreme furnace if I went to then go make an iron or a regular furnace, it would instantly turn it into an extreme or whatever I had in my inventory that was the highest. So, I didn't make like an obsessive amount, I only have 13 left. But as you guys can tell, I got a lot of stuff. I went through a few more dungeons in my spare time. And just got quite a bit of stuff. Um... You guys may notice I have this cool little paper thing going on in my inventory. What's up with that? Well, I actually got all 16 Adventurer's Diaries. I found a, um, a villager. But, yeah, the villager was offering, like, five emeralds for a diary. And I was like, yeah. As you guys can tell, I got a lot of food. Got a lot of bacon. Uh, you guys may notice I have spawners up. Um, in my off time, I've found a lot of dried spawners. However, I really, really hate the long process of going through and put giving them water in the crafting um, interface just to get them. So, even if it isn't creative, even if it's just giving myself a bucket of water. So, I've taken to just giving myself however many spawners I have for that dried and then just throwing the dried in here. So, one thing I want to show is we got 14 dried mobzilla spawn egg parts, and we have two for the king. We also have seven king spawn eggs. Uh, as you guys can tell, I have a lot of spawn eggs. These are all like my boss spawn eggs. I mean, I've got a few bosses up here, like the Leonopteryx, which is new. The Mantis. I have a lot of water dragons since they added the um, water dragon um, dungeons. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Oops, cancel. What I mean by I found the king spawn eggs. You guys may notice I have King's Dungeon, which is what I'm gonna be showing you. I saw the king help, which is where I first spotted the king. Second goddess tree, which is where the king is at. I found a bunch of king dungeons together. And then I found another king. So as you guys can tell, the two kings aren't that far apart, so we're going to go to the king's dungeon, which this one I have not tampered with. As you guys can tell, blocks of quartz, crystal torches, pillar quartz blocks, blocks of gold, blocks of emerald, and then it's got like this neat little thing of, why is there dirt? This one, that's not supposed to be dirt, I don't know why that's there, but yeah cool little thing this is a fan design dungeon that uh, danger put in and inside this chest in the very center is one king spawn egg and that's all there is to this now I thought these would be pretty rare and they kind of are you can tell like there's distance between this, but as you can tell I found a lot more but show you guys how common these can be oh I hope I'm not close enough to the king as you guys can see right here, we've got this one right here. Sorry about that, guys. My shit. My mom decided to come in. Yeah, as you guys can tell, there's one right here. However, there's also one right here. Now, this is where I was like, geez, are you kidding me? And then I saw that, and I'm like, wait, really? There is a third one right here. So that's how common these things can get, guys. I mean, you could go a while without seeing them, and all of a sudden, boom, you could see a lot of them right... Wow, my voice could use see a lot of them right by each other. 
Oh, what was that? That is the second king. So we're going to go over here quick as bunny because that doesn't seem too far away. Uh, glad I don't have to worry about my girlfriends in here because it's such a pain. I still travel with girlfriends. I'm trying to keep to like four or less, but apparently I have the fifth one that I didn't know about. We're almost there, guys. But yeah, I went to the unstable dimension, got a bunch of spawners that I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit. And uh, I doubt I'll show much footage in there except for like a main dungeon because it's so laggy for me, even keeping my render distance on short and not having my recording software running. So, don't know how much of that I'll be able to show, but we're super close to making the Big Bertha. It's a lot harder than it used to be. You actually have to craft the blade, the hilt, and the guard. Wow, this thing is actually pretty far away. I don't want to teleport to it, because I just want to show it. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's the king. There's the edge of the goodness tree, goddess tree, whatever it's called. But yeah, the king... He's just so massive, guys. Don't even want to, don't, don't want to approach him. Don't want to approach him. We're just going to back away quickly. So yeah, that's all I really wanted. Ooh, golden, enchanted golden apple cows. Killed these real quick. Found a bunch of those guys when I was out and about. I don't know what's up with these guys being so common in here. Apple cows. Ooh, do I have that hat? Yep. Sorry, cow. Hello, pig. I don't need to kill too many of you. I have lots of bacon. Anyways, let's go back. Now that I've shown off this, I'm going to delete this. Yep. I'm going to keep kingdom. I'm going to delete that. Alright. We're going to keep kingdom since it's so many right by each other. I might want to show that off to someone else. Let's go back to the Tree of Epic Proportions. Absolutely. If you guys haven't seen popular MMOs play this, please go watch it. Pat and Jen are fantastic commentators. I absolutely love their series. So now we are going to do a couple things while we're here. We're going to drop that off. Drop these off. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. And let's read this adventurer's diary. So right click it. Achievement, get, and so it begins. This could be it. Finally found another stronghold. Maybe this one will be more fortunate. And it was. After months of searching, there I stood, with the ender portal before me. Deactivated, but still there. This page is missing. Okay, so... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go through each one of these guys. I'm just going to put my bacon there for now. Page 2. There were a few empty slots for missing eyes of Ender. Thankfully, I had enough on me to activate it. I hardly stood there for a second before plug plunging into it. This was the moment I was finally going to kill it. So as you guys could see, keeps the first page, so I'm really only going to need to keep one of them, I think. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, page three. After what seemed like hours, the dragon was dead. I nearly died at the very beginning when I destroyed the first crystal. No one had told me they dropped a bomb when you do that. I knew the Enderman wouldn't take kindly to me destroying the crystals, but I guess the crystals didn't either. I'm starting to feel like I should have opened these all before I started recording so I could just read it, but I hope you guys are enjoying. Although I had killed it. I was still poisoned, bleeding, and close to death. There were holes and craters dotted around the end where the dragon had swooped down towards me. The floor was littered with a strange purple essence. I decided... I, bleh, I picked it up and examined it. I decided to keep it with me, but I didn't enter the portal to go home just yet. With my head down... I carefully walked over to the egg, now lying where the beast fell. After examining it, I tapped it with my sword, and all of a sudden, it seemed to feel safe. Maybe it would be possible for me to...
My mission here was complete, yet the adventuring blood in me stopped me from leaving right away. I glanced around the inn. What caught my eyes was the smaller floating islands dotted around the main one. Ah, uh, these are probably included in the, um, hardcore end expansion mod thing. Upon closer inspection, the smaller islands had weird, cave-like holes containing patches of a strange purple powder. Maybe it was the same thing as the purple essence I had found before. Perhaps this is the raw form of the same material. So this is cool. This is very interesting, actually. After jumping back through the portal, I took my backpack off to take out the purple powder to examine it further. However, it has all vanished. Even stranger, my collection of ender pearls had started glowing. Perhaps the purple powder had something to do with it. Ooh, something's gonna happen to this dude. I visited a nearby village the next day and showed the pearls to a scientist. After taking a quick look, he told me they've gained special abilities. At that point, he also noticed the essence I had attained from the dragon, glanced behind him, then leaned in and whispered that he's got something special. Downstairs, he rummaged through a chest and took out a weird block. It looked similar to an enchanting table, but instead of a book, it displayed what seemed to be the dragon essence. He said he didn't know what it was, and wondered if I could figure it out. Ah, I know what this is talking about. When I got home, I placed the altar down. The moment I did that, all the essence I had was swallowed up by it. I carefully walked towards it, but as I did, my armor and sword both got repaired. I wonder what else this altar can do. It's been a few months since I last wrote in this, but I feel this is linked. This morning I went caving, and in a dungeon I found what I first thought was an Eye of Ender. However, this one was purple. When I got home, the egg started shaking as if both objects were connected. I picked up both and went back to the stronghold with the end portal and jumped through it again. So what he found was probably a temple collar. The purple eye of Ender vibrating again, and in a massive puff of smoke I was teleported to a bright temple that looked just like the stronghold's portal room, only made of pale stone. Before the portal was a black pedestal, I placed the egg on it carefully. The last things I remember were the egg slowly floating upwards, then a cataclysmic explosion. I woke up in my bed. Today is the day where I slay the beast. I have prepared my items, and I have my eyes of Ender. Now it's time to find and activate the portal. Okay, so for those of you who don't understand what just happened, um, basically, I want to put these all in one chest, kind of like how I've had them organized here. And I'm actually going to put a temple collar in the middle. But anyways, guys, since I know most of you probably don't understand what just happened... The temple collars are used with the dragon egg. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, those are out of order. I want them to be like this. So 16, I need 15 here. 14, 13, okay. So, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Actually, let's swap these. There we go. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Anyways, as I was saying, guys, 
these temple callers are used with the dragon eggs and you take them to the um, end portal you jump through with them and it'll take you to that place and what it does is you place the egg down and it resets the end to where you can do it again if you want to so it's pretty cool I mean it's really cool for those of you who like dungeoning a lot I mean that's something I will probably do a lot okay so I just need a few more don't ask what this is guys because I really don't know I just thought it would be cool to do you know give some coolness to what I do alright that goes like that but I don't want these to have more than one alright does that need that one I feel like it would be better like I like that. I like that a lot. Would it look better like that? Yeah. Just like that. But yeah, guys, that's what they do. They're used to reset the end, which is a really, really cool feature in my opinion. So, now that we're done with that, this is going to be a long episode. I think I'm going to cut it after our little game that we're about to do. Now, as you guys can see, oh, I need to put those in my other house. I have a dropper, a bunch of gold and redstone. What we're going to do is we're going to make a lot of lucky blocks. I do mean a lot. So let me, let me, just, let me get these in my inventory. Let's get this in here first. We'll worry about the gold when we've actually got the droppers. Give me the dropper. Actually, can I fit this in here right now? Should be able to fit most of it. Yeah. Alright, so... Okay, you know what? You yeah, know what? Let's do this an easier way. Droppers are like... This... Now, don't know if I'm going to have enough gold for this, but it'll still be fun. Alright, that went perfectly. Alright, so we have a lot of droppers now. Let's put this down, this down. Hopefully I grabbed enough gold. Looks like I have just enough for 64. So I have 17 left over. I mean, I have more gold. But we're not going to use it all at once, of course. So now we're going to go... Actually, actually, actually. Let's do this in here, just in case something bad happens. I don't want my girlfriends to die. Alright, a little bit of lag there. A little bit more. Nothing too bad. A little bit more lag. Alright. Why are you lagging? Why is the lag all of a sudden? What is going on? What is that? Uh, that's from me opening lucky blocks. Okay, guys. One second. I'm going to try to clear up this clock. Alright, guys. I ran around a bit. As you guys can tell, I've gained, like... Probably close to entire level. It's night time, so the experience tree is dropping. So ran through that for a little bit. So let's open these lucky blocks. And there was like because the mod detector. All right, what did we get? Lots of stuff for dying. So we're gonna throw that backpack number five. These can be useful for dying backpacks. Alright, 
Let's also throw this stuff in there. Alright, next one. Lots of wool, quartz. Alright. It's useful, I guess. Don't know why I'd need all this wool. Alright. Chest. Ooh, ooh, more lucky blocks. This is a really lucky one. Never got that before. Alright. Some saddles. Nice. Rotten flesh. Nice. Sword. Look up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Look up. That's usually the lava one. God damn, those anvils almost killed me. That would have been bad. Ooh, a beacon. <gasps> Mr. Rainbow. What's up, Mr. Rainbow? I'm going to go this way so I don't kill y'all. I'm going to go this way. So I don't blow up my farm. Oh, snap. This is one of the new ones. I think. I don't know. I've never gotten this one before. Basically, what it is. Oh, right in a QB dungeon. We were going to fight one of these today, guys. Why can't I hit you? Yeah. Yeah. Turn me into... Oh, god damn bastards. Ah. Somebody. Somebody help. Let's eat some bacon. Ah, oh, I can't. Bacon's not in my immediate inventory. Let me just... Let me just... Stop. Please. Bad cubies. Give me all your stuff. That was cool. I didn't know they had monster dungeons in here. Um, I think I got some nightmare spawn eggs. Um, take that. Take that. Take those. Those can be useful. Everything else I don't really want. But yeah, basically what that was going to do was drop me into some webbings. That was going to drop me... Is that another monster spawner that I just saw? No, I'm just going crazy. But, uh... Wow, that, that could have killed me. What is, what is this doing? Was this like a, just an explosion of loot somehow? Just on the surface too. Alright. Alright. Whatever works. Let's open that backpack up. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Don't need that. Keep. 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 Alright. We're full. Let's go to six. Alright, continuing on with our lucky blocks. Got some pumpkin pies. Some more saddles. Ooh, lots of ender stuff. Let me switch back to me. I'm, I'm feeling a bit short. Got a dragon egg. More ender stuff. Ooh, golden apples. TNT. Ooh, we got this. Buckets. Holy crap, that scared me. Nice. And some iron stuff. Don't need that, though. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. I'm going to leave that there for now. We're going to uh, open up the backpack, number five. Let's see if I can't throw any of this stuff in there. Yeah, that'll go, that'll go. Saddles, emeralds, no. Alright, so the rest of this will go in six. Got some pumpkin pies. Nice. Very nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Gosh, we're, we're getting pretty lucky so far, guys. We've only had one thing try to kill us. Well, two, but 
liking those um, end portal frames. Almost got enough to make the entire thing just wherever I want. The uh, lucky block book, which I've already gotten in red. Oh, it's this. There's a block of diamond on top. I'm going to leave that because that's, that's pretty cool. Diamond block. Arrows and a bow. This. Oh my gosh. Just switch to creative for this. So you guys don't have to watch me as I switch to my ultimate pickaxe to take my way out of there. We've got the lucky block book again. Books and bookshelves. Potions. Paintings. Might hang some of those up. Iron block. Chest. Alright. Um, we'll just leave that there for now. More render stuff. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's that. That one's horrible. It makes you blind, slow, nauseated. Summons in a bunch of spiders. You guys can tell there's spiders and stuff everywhere now. Oh my. That was bad. I'm just gonna fire off in random directions. Holy crap, that is a lot of mobs, guys. Let me just try to kill them all. Wow, that is a lot of... Oh, no! One was Sticky and Weber. Alright, let me drop down on this. Oh, I see a hat. I see more hats. Oh, no. Oh, snap. I need to eat, guys. Holy crap. This is bad. Whatever is enchanted is kicking my, or er, rare is kicking my ass. Let me try to kill some of these non-rare ones so I can like, narrow this down a little bit. Yeah, as you guys can tell, that is an extremely bad one to get. Like, that'll kill you. They almost killed me and I have the ultimate set on. Well, not full, but oh no! Minecraft crashed because there were so many mobs. I've had this happening to me a lot lately, actually. Ah, oh, snap. Alright, guys, I'll be right back with this. Alright, guys, we're back. My god, that was painful. Ah. Wow, I was not expecting that to happen. Alright, where are we? We're up in the air still. Oh, get me up, get me up, get me up. One time I will ever be thankful to a creeper. You know what we need to do? We need to, um... Oh, it's gonna... Lag up. There we go. We need to first kill that zombie right there. Alright, now we need to, um, e time to noon. Alright, apparently that's not gonna work. Time set zero. Really? <sighs> okay, apparently it doesn't want to... Jesus, what the hell? Hey, okay, spider, will you die, please? Zombies, will you die, please? There's so many mobs. 
Don't worry guys, they're going down. Oh snap, even the freaking ants are after me now. Creeper! I will use these creepers to my advantage. Oh no, die, rare spider. I think they're almost all dead, guys. Oh, God. Got another rare spider. And it's dead. Okay, are we finally in peace now? Look at all this experience, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's a rare creeper. It's another rare creeper. Why? Why is this happening? Oh, this this episode's been running on a while. Thanks to all this. I actually may need to cut this episode as soon as we finish off all these mobs. Oh. Rejected. Oh, hi Ghost Creeper. I was wondering where it was. Chest is still intact. That's good. Alright guys. I'm going to end this video here. Next episode we will finish opening the lucky blocks. I will see you all next time. Goodbye everyone.